For those of you who've seen my last few videos, you know that I've been working on an inductor type uh, radio. This one is inductively tuned, doesn't have a capacitor in it. And I've been doing it for the reasons of making or recreating, I should say, those 1950 style crystal radios. The ones that are like, they're shaped like a satellite, uh, there's a rocket one and so on. And so I've been experimenting with the coils that you can see before you. And I've been, you know, trying different lengths and all that. I got a video on that. And while I was working on it, I thought, you know, these all have the same, the same circuit diagram. And they all pretty much, it's just a coil wrapped on, on a uh, tube with a 10 millimeter inside diameter. And if I, uh, instead of using this to mount to a piece of wood or whatever, I use that to mount the wires for the crystal earphones, for the ground, the antenna, the... What am I missing? The diode and the resistor. This whole thing would just become a very compact, very compact radio in of itself. And all you do is move the rod in and out and that would be your radio. So if you were, you know, prepping or creating some kind of a, a camping radio or whatever you needed, that would be uh, really ideal. And so what I did is I, uh, now you don't have to 3D print these. It's just a plastic tube and the plastic tube has a 10 millimeter diameter in it and so i printed up a long one like this and yeah i started experimenting with that so where'd my rod go i always want to need to keep track of your rod and put your rod in there like that and keep everything in focus and then you would just slide this back and forth to tune your radio and so that led to another step of, uh, of this thing. So here it is. This is the semi-finished version. I'm still waiting for some alligator clips that have not been forthcoming, although they've been ordered for like forever. But I didn't want to hold out on this. So this is the only one I've ever seen. I think this is an original design. I'd like to hope so. But, uh, yeah, it is, that is the whole radio right there. It's got an earphone off camera here, kind of springs off by itself. And you put the uh, ferrite rod in there, and then there's a locking pin right here. So uh, you just put a screw through there. Again, you don't have to 3D print this. All it is is a plastic tube. I cut out a slot in it here. You glue a block in here to mount your wires to and that's pretty much it and then you tune it by doing that so yeah and it'll fit in a backpack it'll fit in whatever you need to put it in uh, you may say well you need to shrink wrap this over here and that's true but i was going to show you what i got going on and uh, if i shrink wrap it you can't see it so this gray and white wire are the uh, headphone wires and they come down here so headphone wires right there and there. They come down to the resistor, which I mounted outside here. And the diode, which is harder to see, but it's right in there. So it comes off the antenna wire, which is the red wire. Everything's twisted around, of course. There it is. There's the red wire. Comes in here, goes back through the strain reliever. So this block, which is going to be hard to see, it's just a, a plastic block with four holes in it and yeah so wrap the antenna wire through there comes back and attaches to one end of the diode right here and the other end of the diode attaches to the earphone which is the gray wire which you see right in there goes through that resistor and then over to the other side where just li literally everything is soldered together and that's it so uh the design on the coil is it's a hundred turns of, of number 24 wire. I've got the data over here. I'll put that at the end of the video. And it's been glued down to keep these from shifting around. I use thread on each end of it. It is, uh, what do they call that? Scatter wound. So you start out here. Uh, this one's not as good as some of them, but you start out here and you angle it off between 10 and 20 degrees and you just make stripes this way like that. Get down here, you stop, put a piece of tape on it, then you make stripes back the other way. 
and going in between the windings that you just laid down and you do that back and forth until you have 100 windings. Although I think with this one I'd be better off with 120 because it is so long. Uh, what else do you need to know to make this? Ferrite rod, you can order them online. They're cheap, about like a buck fifty. And this is uh, 100 millimeters long by 10 millimeters wide. Details in the uh, description below. But otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it. It is just something you can wind up and drop in a, in a you know, wrap it in a plastic wrap and stick it aside for emergencies or camping or prepping, whatever you are that you are doing. So, um, yeah, this is the first result out of doing this, uh, doing this inductive tuned radio. And I hope you'll find that useful and interesting as you progress in your crystal radio experimentations. Here is our demo setup. We have our oscilloscope connected to the earphone connections on our radio. And yeah, the reason I'm showing you on the oscilloscope for those who have not watched my channel before is because if I play music over the over my video, YouTube will take down the video and there's no point of doing that because then you'll never see the video. Okay, and back here we have connected to our ground, the ground and the antenna from outside to our antenna connection. And that's it. So back here you're going to see as I tune through here, what happens. There's some guy talking. It's an advertisement. Oh, there's another guy talking. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't get that a little while ago. There's another station. I think that's the one that's nearby at the house. Oh. So yeah, that's, that's all bleed over from the last station. So it's about three and a half stations we're getting. And the three stations are very, very hearable. Yeah. You could easily listen to them, hear what's going on. And they're relatively loud, as you can see from the scope. And that one's the clearest. Okay, well, for those of you who stayed, that's our demo. And I hope you found that interesting. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.